Hey, Bernardo here. I had something I already wanted to share previously planned, but I thought this would probably be more relevant this week. Uh, uh, is in, I wanted to share about resilience. It's, it's a common word that I've been uh, looking at, reading about, and, and writing about. Uh, I, I talk a lot about resilience, and, uh, and there's some exercises in my book, The Question. Um, and, and what I studied and what I've learned is obviously that, you know, a lot of people that are resilient have this, uh, they have this belief that, you know, every single thing that happens is positive. And every single thing that happened, they, they look at the silver lining and they look at the, at, at, at basically, it's just, it's just a setback, but, you know, and they look at where they're going. Look, at the moment, there's a lot of people out there that are very concerned and very scared, and it might be your case. I, I personally am... Um, it doesn't matter what happens in life. At the end of the day, when it happens, there's no use. There's no use in really kind of really trying to study and learn it more. You see, there's no need in you becoming a coronavirus expert now and reading 400 articles a day. It just doesn't help. You need to understand the basics of it and obviously know how to stay safe and then follow the guidelines, which at the moment is hey, making sure that you wash your hands plenty of times and that you don't go out there and, you know, uh, contact with other people if you're not feeling well you need to stay at home that's the bottom line that people are scared that they they don't want you to go out to the street now so there's a lot of negative people out there and there's a lot of people that are just simply spreading this negative these negative thoughts uh, and they're not helping so don't be one of those you need to be solution driven you need to be looking at what is going to come out of this how can i become a better individual what is it that I wanted to do before that I was never able or capable of doing because I didn't have the time? What would I want to say to my family that I haven't said before? What did I want to do with it? But you can still pick up your family and go and have a walk in the park. You know, there's so many things that you can do that you probably couldn't do before with the current situation we have. But again, look at the future. You have to see that there's obviously a lot of companies that are doing extremely well with this. There's a lot of companies that are doing extremely well with what's going on at the moment. There's a lot of businesses that are obviously affected. And not everyone can you know, change or transform their business from one day to the other. I get it. But still, look at the positive outcome. How can you and what can you do differently? So resilient people are people that look at the positive aspects of life. Resilient people are people that bounce back. And you have phenomenal inner resilience within you. If you're a parent, you would do anything, apart from going to the supermarket and taking all the food from the shelves, you would do anything and everything to help your family. So we all have that phenomenal inner strength within us. And I believe that a lot of people believe sometimes that they're just simply born to be resilient. Now, the, the world is is packed and full of people that have been phenomenally resilient in their lives. Look at the stories of, of, of the greats, of many great people that have come from nowhere, uh, you know, to write the most phenomenal books. J.K. Rowling, uh, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Hanfield with Chicken Soup to the Soul, or Nelson Mandela in prison for 27 years and never gave up on his dream and his vision. Thomas Edison, and so on and so on and so on. And, and this is it. Look, it's happening, okay? This really, if anything, it, it really identifies that we're all connected in so many different ways. And at the end of the day, the priority is, is, is for us to be able to help each other, to be able to support each other. And that humanity is much bigger than you and me and a business or a corporation. So my advice to you is, is to keep positive, stay positive, be part of looking at what's going to happen positively out of this. You see, at the end of the day, what we have to be looking at is how soon and how quickly will we be able to go and watch a game or how quickly and soon can we go out to an event again and how quickly and soon can we do these things. That's the positive outcome we're going to have because at the end of the day, we're social animals. We're all, we're all interested in connecting and engaging with each other. So look, my advice is stay strong. Don't be a negative person. Don't be a negative person. Be a solution-driven person and make sure that you, you keep your eye on the prize. So there's many, many, many great people sharing some very great messages out there. And I advise that you just follow them. Follow them, read, and, and, and if you're going to be spending time uh, you know, don't spend time watching Netflix and things that are completely relevant. Watch educational content, things that can keep you positive and, and things that can educate you to become the best version of yourself. Stay strong. Lots of love.